gonna be uh, wiring up a few gauges today, I guess. See how that fucking goes. I have the switches and grounds and powers before, so shouldn't be too hard. Just need to extend some wires and yeah, make some shit happen. First is boost gauge. The the hose is pretty short. So I chopped it and we're gonna extend that with the help of this. I don't know, maybe it'll work. And this. It's a new day, new parts arrived. The door is locked. Final piece of the puzzle for the, the intercooler setup. Let's move my car, that's pretty close. And yesterday I started the wiring, but the battery was dead, so I was just fucking around. But yeah, that's that's a cluster fucking there. But gauges work. I need to get the radio and the AC to work now. AC, the air unit. No more air conditioning, unfortunately. And yeah, shit's gonna be tight. I need to get bonnet pins. Uh, and the other car I have the just the normal ones that come up and put a pin through and they work. But I kind of want this car to look cool. I'm thinking about putting the the recessed ones in there, the one the black ones. But I don't know. Maybe there's actually there's no point to it really. Works. So I'm gonna replace that with this. It's the right size. But I'm <clears throat> I think I'm still going to have to wrap some, for now, because I didn't think this through, this fucking thing around here, so I can use the clamp, because clamps are huge. That's on. Looks a little funny. But it definitely works. That's on. Looks like shit, but waiting on the fucking clamp. So I'm gonna try and delete this AC condenser today and change the oil filter. Throw some oil in it. The on the oil feed for the turbo. I don't know if it's gonna work, but this is what I've come up with. So I got a double banjo bolt with some washers. So oil comes in, goes in my thing, goes up here, this is treaded, this goes to here, done. No drilling, no bullshit. So what this is is a M16 by one M16 by 1.5 double banjo bolt. And this is a M16 AN6 banjo fitting into an AN6 to AN6 like I don't even know like a coupling but at, on this coupler coupler there is a treaded fitting for oil feed line and I just got an AN6 cap at the end so hopefully this is gonna work and it's not gonna leak here we're about to find out a reducer for this to this piping get an air filter have it sitting here yeah, so, fuck, let's try and delete some shit I don't need, I guess. Um. Gaining like half a horsepower doesn't... I doubt you get anything, by the way. So that's out. So that gives me a bit more room. So I can get at the oil filter, put some oil in it, and then I want to test if my contraption works. Got the handy dandy clippy boys, see if I can get at this without jacking the car up just because I'm lazy. I think the answer is no. Oh, maybe. I can't even see the fuck am I. Well. Oh, 
up. So that's out of the way, and there's the filter. You don't need to do any of this, but I want to be able to. Well, I'm just, straight up, I'm just lazy, and I want to change the oil like every time I go to the track, every two times. The oil is fucking cheap, filters are cheap, so it's easy. Never for it. Or else you're gonna get pranked. If you're like me, you have no oil. You don't spill any. Top tip. If you don't want oil to leak, don't have any. High performance engine oil. It's cheap. Febby, it's probably trash, but when you're working with trash, you deal with trash. Hope it's not going to leak. It's probably going to leak. 